Tatsu Aoki is an award-winning, multi-talented musician, composer, filmmaker, educator, director, and producer. You go back a long way, Tatsu, right? Over Probably, 20 years. Um... <laughs> Over 20 years. Thank you for having me again. Your life is so prolific. We did an episode earlier about beginnings, and today we want to focus on what's in the future. I know that you and your team are working on a capital campaign for a space, right? Don't right. I have this large taiko drumming group called Tsukasa Taiko. It's taikolegacy.com. It's very easy. We need to find one new rehearsal space for my taiko group my Japanese dance troops, and also Asian American contemporary performers. Two, this is the idea of creating a black box for Asian American performers, that we do not have a place, space, for a lot of Asian American artists to experiment their act. You know, I'm glad you mentioned Margaret Homer right. or Fred Anderson, my mentor, Fred on Velvet Lounge. Marguerite used to have the venue Hot House. And also another person who contributed a lot is Kate Smith, who used to own this place called Bob Shop. Right. Oh, yeah. Right, Bob right. Shop. So these three places, they were the kind of places you call them and said, hey, I have this new project and I want to test it out. Right. Then Fred or Marguerite or Kate will say, OK, why don't you just come on every Tuesday for this month? Or why don't you do this weekend or that weekend? Then we test out our new project. Right. And, and it was music. It was a performance or a little skit, theater skit. Kate allowed a little theater skit in, in, the, in the bars. Those places were kind of a space for spiritual mental by the owner or by the, the artist, like Fred Anderson. And today, everything else we have, is, it's kind of a, very much of a, a business-like venue stuff because everybody has to worry about their attendance and maintaining their venues, right? So I feel that if we have a building with a very small black box where the Asian American artists can come and test out their stuff, that would be a wonderful change in Chicago performing arts. We should probably redefine this idea of a black box, Asian, Asian American performing arts black boxes. That, this is the idea of the so-called last resort. You can go to major venues and if nobody's interested in what you're gonna do, you can always come to our building, our venue to do it. Right? And Asian improv records were generated like that. It was originated with the idea of, you know, you, we're going to make each other a recording artist because nobody seems to be interested in releasing your album. So we will, you know, that kind of idea. This is the project called Dojo Project. We need about 175 to kick into this project. And we started our capital campaign back in fall of 2019. And we started really well, really, really well. We had almost a quarter of it immediately. Then cool. 2020 pandemic hit yeah. us. And yeah. we had to pause this project right. for a while. And, and we are still pausing it because our economy is not really back. Yeah. But I think that things are looking brighter for yes. everyone in general and in right. the arts with a lot of changes going on in the vaccine and so forth. So we wish you really a lot of success on that. You are accepting campaign donations if people would like to make them now, right? Yes. So if you go to AIRMW.org site, you'll see this donation site. The viewers, if you have an extra couple hundred thousand dollars laying around in your house, you can donate to us.
<laughs> so if somebody has a building that would work to your spec, if you hadn't raised all the money yet, you would consider a donation of an appropriate building that oh, yes. work with its own credit. Right? Yes, totally. Talk to us. Talk to Irene. You know. I want to keep my ears open. Yes, right. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to realize your dream. Yes. Tatsu, you're all about realizing dreams. We've talked about a lot of things. Is there anything I haven't asked you in, in either of our episodes that you want to talk about? I think, you know, we continuously talk about our positioning in and, and it's it's really important like like you saw in this last couple of months of this terrible incident happened and if we don't speak talking up, about in march march yeah, yeah yeah if we don't speak up about this thing people may not think seriously about it and and you know i fight for the arts and i fight for the asian american cultural identity and we need the space, we need the place for all aspects of Asian American performing art, artists to come and being able to do something. You know, and if we have one, they can people can go around and shop for other venues, but there's always one place that you can come to. The, and it's the idea of this destination center, right? You you have this place, at least, you know, if you nobody's interested, you can come and you know have your show at the Asian Improv Arts Building. And, and that's what we want to do. Love the idea. Thank you yeah. for coming up with that. This is going back, you know, Quincy and I were mm -hmm. talking together about getting a building, right? Really? I did not yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking we, about- We Quincy had the Walmart. conversation yeah. that, that with me and Quincy always talked about this. And Quincy actually found one building in Chinatown. Really? And, yeah. And we went to look for it. And, and it was big enough for a lot of things could happen. And I think he was he was uh, trying to talk to his brother about it or something. You yeah, know? his brother's a yeah. real estate attorney. Right. Uh, but unfortunately, he passed away. So we yeah. we didn't realize that. Of course, there's going to be programs that collaborate with others besides right. Asian right. Right? right. right. Yeah. But I think, you know, you know what I mean? It's an Asian American driven performance venue is is needed. Oh, even in your Taiko classes, not everybody is Japanese or Asian American, no, right? No, no, there are all kinds of people. But yeah. I think what's important is that it is it is organized and driven by the Taiko specialists and professionals. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Then then many people come to to play with us. You know. Oh yeah. And, and I, mean, the, I look at your audience as an MCA, right? And a big broad based audience, right? right. And, and music and contemporary art. So thank you for that. Also on the music front, can you tell our viewers what's up with Asian Improv Records? What's coming up? Uh, Jeff Chan's album in April and March. I was so excited about introducing three young generation of Asian American performers with our label. That was Kyoto Aoki. Oh yeah, your daughter. Wei Wang uh -huh. and Mai Sugimoto. They all did the solo albums. Yeah. Three new albums by younger generation of Chicago scene, Chicago improvised music scene in traditional arts, in jazz, and the noise. Maybe June, we will have Francis Wong. Is there a, saxophone is my favorite instrument. Yes. And I love Francis Wong playing saxophone. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. And, and also, I have a rock album from FPE in September coming up. Who has a rock album? You do? Yes, I do. Yes, I, my my sixty three year old old man rock album is coming out from. Uh, are you going record. back to your electric bass? Beginning? Yes, yeah, I am playing the electric <laughs> bass. For that. Yes. that is wonderful news. So you're coming full circle. I love it. And that's yeah. September twenty twenty one. You got a name for that one, Tatsu? Yes, it's an album called Bass Dreams Minus B. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, and it comes out from FBE records which is the same uh, record company who produced my best of miyumi project and they uh, uh irene has the cd version i have this uh, vinyl that is so cool i right. love it so it, my rock album also comes on vinyl and the cd by fpe records but tatsu how can anyone if you're not in the industry like i don't have a thing where i could a, a, a player are they are they coming out with these now to so you can play them they're coming back they're coming back. 
lot of the young music fans are buying turntable. So new, let me tell you about this new turntable. I, I feel like I'm advertising all these manufacturers. Okay, new turntable, not like old days, you can hook up directly to Bluetooth speakers. So you don't need the stereo receiver. You play the LP and it goes directly into your Bluetooth mechanism. Wow, where, where but can you, you still is this Amazon or is it in stores? Or? Oh yeah, Amazon have a bunch of them. You wow. know, I and know that um, I recently bought the one, the new style that plays LP vertically. That's very cool. Is it behind you somewhere or no? No, it, not. Uh, I have an old-fashioned uh, yeah. stereo here, but upstairs I have a one one that plays vertically. If I had known um, this, I would have kept my parents set from a long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this new thing is you still get the sound of a vinyl, which is a little bit softer, right. warmer than right. the, the CD. Right. And you don't need a stereo set because all you need to buy is, the, is this buy new Bluetooth turntable and it will go directly into your speakers. That is amazing. I and, can't wait. And I have that in my bedroom and I, I listen to my, you know, my old albums. And wow. especially people my age, I think you have a lot of LPs. Like, I, you know, I have a stack of them in my back here. And, and you know, it's time for to revive. And That's amazing. I, I, did, I did two rock recordings last year. And they both came out on vinyl. That's not my my project. I was just hired as a as a bassist on that that project. So they are doing vinyl and the cassette tapes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this retro thing. That is so cool. So it's yeah. September 2021. I know that's the famous person's birth month. I think maybe I don't know. Knock on wood. Maybe it'll be safe enough to have a rock and roll party. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, I am hoping to have a rock and roll party. Oh my God, uh, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, great. That right. sounds really fabulous. Congratulations, Tatsuyoki. Do you Thank have you. anything else you'd like to say on our theme, which is hear me what I want to say? I have to say the same thing over and over again. Let's mm -hmm. work together to earn the social position as Asian Americans. And, and it is really important, as you can see, in this world is having a lot of trouble equalizing all this, you know, racism, all this injustice. And I think we all have to be working together. And also, uh, hear me is important part. If you don't speak out about these issues, people are not going to try to fix it. And we need to speak out and, and we need to talk about it. And it's very uncomfortable sometimes to talk about the racism, talk about the injustice and talk about how we are not respected enough. You know, it's very uncomfortable. But if we don't talk about it, people are not going to pay attention. So I think I believe it's very important for all of us to be alert and outspoken about the issue. Thank you so much, Tatsu Aoki. We have been hearing you for many, many years. We thank you for the things that you want to say and we encourage and support things that you want to do in the future so that you continue to allow people to hear the Asian American community yes. and what you want to say. Thank you so and, much. And I think going back to your last episode, Irene, I also said to young people, read and write. And reading and writing is so important for all of us. So let's not forget that too. Going back to basics. Yes. <laughs> Again. Go okay. back to vinyl. Go back to reading and writing. <laughs> Go back to electric bass. Go back yeah, to... <laughs> right. You know, I have always been professional wrestling nut, Irene. <laughs> oh, and my bass that I use for my rock album is signed by WWE Superstar. And, and I'm a big fan of her. And, and she signed oh, my bass. And, and, wow. and uh, she <laughs> is a... Yes. Um, I can't wait. You definitely show us that picture so that we can edit it in. <laughs> yes, I will show you that picture. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tatsuyoki, for spending time with our viewers today. We really, really were interested and excited for you for all the things that you're doing. Thank you, Tatsu. Thank you very much for having me again and hope everything goes well with your programming for the future there are a lot of interesting artists that you can talk to in in your program 
Yeah, but we got you. <laughs>